Like he's tapped me, I suppose, really, in some ways. Um, tonight, I'll have a drink of this. See who's about. Have a chat about the match. Um, to be fair, though, my wrath, bloody ill I've been the last few days. I'm not even one, in, one bit bothered at the moment. I'm hoping that um, changes. But um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Anyway. Adnan's broadside. Get in. And after a long day at work, it's been a long, long week at work. No worse than feeling shit. And good evening. Uh, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? You'd hope we'd be able to pull it. The way we dispatched Ukraine looked amazing. And, um, oh, oh, balls. Oh, hey, oh, that's on a. Good evening. Oh. Oh. That was nasty. Good evening. So, yeah, um, it's going to be an interesting match, isn't it? You know, um, will we show up like we did the other day? I put old Tom on, but I don't think I can, you know. I just looked and I thought, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Exactly, yeah. I mean, even though Germany were a poor German team, they're still a good world, a, a good tournament team. And um, for us to dispatch both of them, it's interesting. Italy, though, will be no... Yeah... Still beat, yeah, they did. Still beat Portugal 4-2, yeah. And even though they play poor against us, you know, you can't fault them for that. Yeah, the poor was crap, wasn't it? Oh. So I've done my second COVID test, as you do. And, uh, yep, no COVID. Hey, just, just man flu. Hey, lovely stuff. It's been that long since I've had a cold that you just don't, Oh, it's raining. Um, yeah, it's been that long. Good morning. And it should be an interesting match. I do hope England do what they did the other night where they came out of the blocks. I need a good beer to shift it. It's fucking shit. It's been a shit few days. I've been crap since Saturday. I was coughing on Saturday and I felt crap ever since. Um, so obviously Wednesday now. Feel it. So I'm at work today and um, <clears throat> I'm on the ride on mower and I thought, ride on mower. I thought, great, at least I can have an easy day. What happens? I look on the floor. There's a big bolt on the floor with a bit of weld on it. And basically, on, on the deck, the weld, the deck had broke off and um, not an anchor. Need an air cut as well. So, will it go to penalties? I don't know. I mean, for England to look good, we need to thump them. But you can't underestimate the Danes. You know, you don't get to the semi-final of any competition on pure luck. So the Danes are doing it for Christian Eriksen. And, you know, I... I um... Good evening. They've, that's what they've got in their locker. They're doing it for their fallen comrade. And that, that, um, that's some motivation there. It beats all the money in the world, that does. You know, a motivation for a teammate, you know, to join together. Um, but can England, can England do what they've been saying they're going to do for donkey's years? Yeah, I don't know. I suppose in some ways, um, Denmark will close us down. Have you? Yeah, it's a piece of crap cold. Really is. Yeah, they are some. Yeah. They've done better than expected. And, um, you know, you can't fault them for what, what they've done. 
and that motivation you just can't buy that motivation you know their manager will be in in be in the in the um in the room saying to him do it for christian they'll be so pumped up we've just got to go in and bank two early goals in and just deflate them quickly <laughs> if we can oh. so to say this is 6.3 percent it's not even tasting like that tonight um taste buds just not good at the moment yeah, 6.3%. Yes, they won it back in 1982, didn't they? Was it 82? Something along them lines. I got sent a video. I'm not sure who sent it me, actually, but about the Danes. Somebody asking them about it's coming home. And, they, and the way they just totally put the, put the, com the commenter down was amazing. It was, it was hilarious. Yeah, the crowd behind him, like the 12th man, you'd think so, wouldn't you? No, I've not watched him, actually. I don't really have time to watch a lot of other beer reviewers. Um, I must check him out one day, though. I do keep hearing about him. Um, my beer reviews have been next to nothing this week. I've been that crappy that I haven't bothered. It was 99. I thought it was. I know that's why I've got this, and uh, I'm I'm not going to drink old Tom because I was ill on it the other night. It'd be interesting to see how other people do beer reviews. I do get bored of the beer reviewers that are sensationalist. Uh, there's no need for it. Um, yeah. Although one's obviously his channel's disappeared at the moment. Well, if it has disappeared, I don't know. Very Danish. It is. It's uh, it is a good English beer, isn't it? Peter Smeichel, he was some goalkeeper back in the day. I don't really know the Danish squad, to be fair, any of them. But uh, I've not been taking that much notice, to be fair, of them. Certainly not the last few days. Didn't even watch Spain versus Italy last night, to be fair. I went to bed early. Good evening. Yeah, you can't fault it when on this four for free business, especially for some of the big beers. Um, it's a cracking deal. And uh, interesting tonight. Good evening. Um, I do hope, uh, I mean, if it carries on and we go into the final, that would be something. Oh, we, de we, we deserve, we, we, we're ready for a win at some stage in, in, in one of these tournaments. And with some of the players we've got, these young'uns. Chocolate honeycomb stout. Bless you. Good evening. So I bet most of the world will be watching the football tonight. Even the wife is tonight. She's sitting downstairs watching the football with me. I'll try not to fall asleep. Oh, I can't wait for it to go. I've not been this ill for years. And the last few days has been crap. Yeah, I thought about it and changed it. <laughs> yeah. We do have a good chance, yes. Yeah, I mean... The other day, that 4 0 win over Ukraine, that, that, you know, a lot of the time we bumble past these people. So for us to be so, that was a whacking win. And um, it's funny now, a lot of people are from around the world now supporting Denmark, but it's all good fun, all good banter. Yeah, Mancini, you know, good, good manager. And Viali, isn't it? It's Mancini and Viali for, for um, Italy. And, you know, both cracking people. So that'll be interesting. I mean, yes, Spain were the better team, but Italy won. And um, 
Yeah, all that possession football gets you nowhere unless you're actually going to bang a bloody goal in. Um, but it's all that pratting around, passing it and passing it and passing it. But unless you go forward and actually start hitting goals, what's the point? Multi-million dollar tap room. Bless you. It'd be good. Well, hopefully in a week on Monday when things supposedly open up in this part of the world. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Closer to Denmark. Yeah. Bless them. Yes, in Scotland, everyone will be cheering on Denmark. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've looked at the people going into town on the buses tonight. Lots and lots of people going into town. Ah. I don't know, really. Tap rooms and bars. I mean, the tap room's part of the brewery. Because the tap rooms that I know of, they're actually basically seating area outside the brewery. Uh, I know you have micro pubs, don't you? It's, it's strange what they call a tap room. Oh, right, uh, yeah, because... I went to Castle Rock's tap room the other day, and it was just a pub uh, attached to the, the brewery. And uh, I mean, you'd think this time England will go one better than last, than 2018. Good evening or morning, depending on where you live in the world. I must say it's been a while since I've sat down in the shed. Um, I know I came down here last night to do a couple of reviews, but to do lives, it's um I think I'll be alright once I get back to some normality and get rid of this chuffing cold. Although at the moment everything's on hold. I've not even looked at the uh, own brew, I'm not doing anything with it, or me wash, or anything. Good evening. I missed that comment then. Yeah. With the team we have, we should do well. Um, but who knows? The tap room has not got a traditional cellar. Oh, right, yeah. The new Hofmeister. I've actually got a couple of Hofmeisters. I'm not sure if they're new. I picked a couple up the other day. Um, let me move that off there. Sometimes with when you know when it when the fermentation stops, I rattle the blooming hell out of it. What was that again? Oh hell, I don't know what I've done there. No, I don't know what I've done there either. God, I look awful. Stone the crows with you. <laughs> uh, I've got a Hofmeister Weiser. I don't know if that's it. Probably not. And I'm sure I've got another Hofmeister jobby down there as well, somewhere. Uh, is that Hofmeister? No, that's not Hofmeister. What's this one? No. Oh, no. Oh, God, I can't keep bending down. It's crippling me. If it's not 3.4%, it'll be new. Ah, that's it, is it? Oh, rightio. Hells and Weiser. Yes, I've got another one. Somewhere. No, that's not it. Yes, hells. So, yeah. I can't even tell what the ABV is. Oh, 5%. So, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, if I'm feeling better tomorrow, I might uh, I might start doing some normal reviews again. Um, luckily tonight, I'm just doing a few beers and then going back up the house and sit and watch the match. Um, and see see how we go on and uh, chill out, watch it from the Nisa in Southampton. Yeah, just a Nisa shop, 
but he's, he's he has beers from ridiculous amount of beers in there. Five litre kegs, yeah. For me to buy a five litre keg of anything, it would have to be an absolute box ticking beer for me. Um, <clears throat> just for the, the thing that you're going to put all that money in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm no, I'm not doing a live tonight. No, I'm just going to lie on the settee, put the quilt around me, and just chill out and watch the football. See you later. Go and enjoy the game. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about doing it, but I haven't I haven't got the energy. Uh, I'm just gonna go and chill up the ass, have a beer, and then just uh, just um yeah, just chill out on the settee. Twenty five quid for five litres. Yeah, if it's supposed to be really decent you don't mind it, do you? And if and if fellow beer reviewers do it justice, you know, and proper then that's all good. No dramatizing. I need some uh, I need some some tablets to just get rid of it so I can get back to normality. I've got so much work to do. Um and I, I can't do any. I just came home and I got home from work at half three and I just chilled out on the settee and then fell asleep. And uh, no, I got up at about half past five and I thought, oh I'll do I'll go down the shed and do a bit of a beer thing. And um but yeah, oh. man flu. Just done another one of them COVID tests where you have to stick the thing up your nose and the back of your throat. Fucking hell, they're horrible. That thing about sticking it to the back of your throat, it's fucking awful. Yeah, it's been a sh real struggle at work. Whereas I can easily do my job. I I've been really struggling. And then the ride on mower broke, so I had to use a push mower to do the biggest lawn. Three and a half hours to push mower lawn. And it was like, fuck me. Uh, I really, really did not want to be push mowing a chuffing lawn when I feel so crap. Good evening. And I, and I don't book sick off, so it's just a case of getting on with it and hoping that the tablet's kick in. And, and at some stage, it just does one. At least I've not not lost my sense of taste with this because I can taste that maltiness. I can't taste all the elements I normally can though. So it wouldn't even be good doing beer reviews at the moment because you know if your taste buds are knackered and your smells knackered, um, even though I can taste most elements, but not as not as what I normally know it, then yeah, it's not good, is it? You know. Might as well just be drinking some of my own brew, chilling out on that. Or my Vimto wine. Yeah, do you know, I've had issues over the years with people in workplaces and uh, I called some people out to the boss and he went to them and told them that I was calling them and these were people who were bone idle and in the end it bit me right up the arse and I ended up leaving that job after 20 years and uh, it just goes to show you. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I get bollocking. <laughs> Sometimes you have to let the bosses uh, find out on their own. It's it's a cruel world, really. But saying that, my wife was at, at Quick Save in Nottingham when she worked there. And this dirty bastard was doing it to her. He was making se sexual comments. He was, he was being an absolute arse. Had she told me, I'd have absolutely kicked the shit out of him. Truly kicked the shit out of him. And the little cunt got away with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I wish she'd, she'd have told me, knowing... I mean, I, I want to... I want, you know, I might have just given him some threatening powder. Yeah. With my hand by the back of his fucking head. But, um, but then... Apparently he went on to do it to somebody else as well. And those sort of people need need um, catching and sorting. 
But do the police sort these people? Do bosses, you know, are they strong enough? You know, it's always that thing. And some people can talk their way out of any situation. And other people, they can just drop themselves in it, even if you're in the right, you know. And make yourself look bad. It's, it's difficult. It really is difficult. When you see people doing wrong. Yeah, it is tough, isn't it? It is tough. I mean, if there's a woman manager, those women need to go to a woman manager and go forth with the situation. Yeah, you need evidence these days. Yeah. I was in a similar situation at work. Not obviously not that with women, but with these idiots. And I'll tell you what, I wish I'd have... Um, Good evening. It's about as much energy as I've got to ring it about. Um, it is a good point, yeah. Yeah, it's a scary situation, isn't it? You know, <clears throat> and some people are so damn good at lying their arse away from situations. Oh, I think I'd rather go seven broadsides. I think me and old Tom have fell out. Yeah, I was going to have a bottle tonight. Then I come down the shed and thought better of it. Yeah, even though I did put it on the uh, post when I posted that thing earlier. And then I come down and I, I can't even be done with the thing yet. Yeah, I've had a shitty fucking cold man flu for the last four or five days now. And uh, it's not COVID, but it's just battered me. Absolutely bad. I've still gone to work, mind you, and I've still done a proper shift, but I'm knackered. And uh, yeah, it's uh, funny how something can grab you. Usually, I'm pretty good with colds. I haven't had a proper cold or flu, whatever it is, for two or three years. I've got the raggy fear in here. <laughs> yeah. The cure for mine is more wine and uh, whiskey, I reckon. But uh, well, I ain't got no whiskey. Too, sure, I ain't got much wine. So, no cure for me. I just have to keep taking paracetamols and stuff and try and get over it the normal way. No. I've got a foreign extra Guinness on the floor. Yeah, it must be the 50-year-old thing kicking in. Yeah. I must admit, though, this last few days, I felt, really feel 50. Yeah. Pissing down outside again. Let's hope it's not at Wembley. The old Tom variant. Yeah, it's funny. I felt shit ever since the old Tom night. Yeah, probably a build up of malt. Nottingham variant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've gagged myself a couple of times doing the old COVID tests. Just out of curiosity. Somebody close to us did as, not overly close, but close-ish has come down with COVID. So we've all had to take tests. And then I come down with a stinking, chuffing cold. So it's um, it's like, oh shit. And on Sunday, I was petrified on Sunday. It's, it's amazing how it rattles your brain. You can't beat a decent pub crawl, can you? I bet the pubs are heaving tonight, wherever you go in the country. Most pubs with TVs will be heaving. Um, and quite, quite rightly so, really. Although, there's always the population who don't want to watch any football whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, that's standard play these days, that is. Reducing the size of cans. Yeah. And keeping the price the same. No, no, the lobby doing Denmark. That part of the world. And the kickoff's not even till eight o'clock, so obviously a lot of people are going to pubs or in pubs now. I bet Mr. Borman Bear reviews he's in his is he, he's in his brew dog on his whiskey chasers, more than likely. And uh, there'll be a lot of stress in tonight. I feel that shit that I'm not even bothered about the match at the moment. If we go a couple of goals up, and then I might try and I might start believing. 
I mean, hopefully we play well. That's the main thing. The last thing we want to do is get a thump in. Eh? That'll deflate the old mood. Well, that would be nice to win the Euros. In a year when we left with Brexit, to win the Euros would just be quite sweet, um, you know, politically, I suppose. And, uh, and good for the football world. Uh, well, our world, at least. Yeah, I'm trying to. I keep hoping that every day I wake up in the morning, this effing cold's gone. But it's, uh, it's a good one, it's lasting. No, never smoke. No. I tried a cigarette at 12 years old, it choked me, and that's the last ever time. Only one ever. A couple of puffs. <clears throat> Didn't like it. Four quid for a free 30 can, it is. Oh, that's actually going down quite nice now. Wet in the whistle. I've got some dandelion wine to, to review. My workmate, she, the chef, she's actually given me some dandelion wine. Looks like piss. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have another one now. Sod it. A nice Guinness for an extra. And then I need to stock up on supermarket beers, ready for the for the grand. Once I chat with the wife and sort out beers and reviews and all that sort of thing, so I don't upset her. Then um, doing beer battles will be quite interesting. Tell you what, it's warm in Nottingham. I mean, what temperature? I thought it was warm, 23 degrees in the shed. And uh, I thought, fucking hell, is it just me or is it, is it warm? But the temperature at the moment. <sighs> oh. Well, I've got to say, I can't wait for this to go. 10 quid for a free fur, it does, it creases you, doesn't it? I mean, I paid 12 quid for that bottle of barley wine. Day uh, and, and boxcar. And it, yeah, it was all right, but I don't know if it, yeah, 12 quid, I don't know. Yeah, she's got her issue. She, she's, she's quite right. I was, I was doing too many sneaky beers. But, um... I think once I, once we have a chat and once the football's gone, because once the Euros have gone and we start to go back into, uh, obviously summer starts to disappear, then autumn and winter, I don't think she'll mind too much. I mean, there's obviously nights when we're gonna we're gonna go and watch uh, Black Widow next week, so hopefully that's a good film. It's been a long time coming. It's been a year bloody late. But, uh, yeah, I don't think she'll mind me doing beer reviews. As long as I stick to two and about an hour long. It's when it's two hours long she gets a bit pissed off. And when I go up the house, pissed out of my face. And that doesn't impress either. Yeah. Yeah, too many beers. Doing four beer reviews in a night. Continuously for a month or two. That was a bit naughty on my side of things. So I can understand it. Black Widow, yes. Well, tittling down here. I don't know what it's like in London, but it's certainly uh, Nottingham. It's peeing there. It's all good for the plants. Oh God, it's summer. Yeah, autumn and winter. People, the majority of the population stay in in the autumn and winter. We don't really go out anywhere in autumn and winter. Um, and obviously no holidays this year at the moment. I mean, to be fair, you don't mind me doing free reviews. As long as they're not too strong. I think it's going up the arse, pissed out of my face. I'm not happy about that. And, uh, yeah, quite rightly so, really. 
I do, I do tend to overdo things at times. So, another beer while we're on the subject. Oh, Guinea's West Indies Porter, get in. And when they're on a four for six quid, you don't mind, do you? Well, I suppose the Isle of Man, Scotland, Wales, you know. Yeah, I like the Nigerian foreign extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's decent, that is. Oh, so, what do we think tonight then? 1 0, 2 0, 2 1. We'll have to see if any of us get it right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think the impy stouts. Yeah, I think the impy stouts are the ones that, you know, the killers. So when I walk back up the house and I'm steaming. Yes, it was the Vimto wine that broke the back. Yes. It's nice, isn't it? You know. It's funny, when I was at work today, absolutely sweating my cobs off, feeling crap. Actually, a bit of rain would have actually been nice, you know. It is good for the plants. It is good for the plants. You can't fault it in that respect. I'm just hoping that soon I, I can. I feel better this weekend and I can go and repair my flipping octub so that we can watch the rain from sitting inside the hot tub with the hot water on bubbling away watching that rain from the hot tub in the hot tub room sod's low isn't it you, bi you build an hot tub room to put the hot tub in and then you get a flipping um, puncture that you can't fix oh my god it's coming down now a tree it's it bouncing off the roofs now Are we going to get the weather that Canada have had? Let's hope not. I mean, there's heat and then there's silly heat. And none of us want silly heat. That year we got 38 degrees here in the UK. That was shit, that was. You know, 30 is just about bearable, but 38 degrees. To say that most UK houses have not got any air conditioning. Um, so it's like grin and bear it, you know, it's, uh, it's not good. So, lovely black pour. Now, do we hope Grealish plays early tonight, or do we want him to come on later? I suppose it all depends on the on the Danish team and what they put out. Or do you keep Grealish as a super sub? Um, Come in new it way, bless you. Egg and milk. Oh fuck's sake, never that. Two one to Denmark, eh? Ooh. England winning penalties, bloody hell, that'd be summit. One more touchdown than Denmark. <laughs> <coughs> 3 nil England. Now that would be summer. Yeah, touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know I've watched rugby, American football, and I just don't know how they sit in them stands watching it. It's so god awful boring. And then I've watched baseball and cricket, and it's the same. It's like, God dear. Why anybody? Baseball or cricket would sit in them stands with some somebody belting a fucking ball at them that could kill them. It just, uh, yeah, don't, um, it doesn't interest me in the slightest. Have I watched Aussie football? About the same as rugby, isn't it? Um, it I probably have at some stage, but uh, it doesn't, uh, it, uh, all that, all that rugby and all that, uh, yeah, it's not my uh, not my cup of tea. Yeah. 
To be fair, watching soccer, football. Well, I suppose so. Yeah, cricket for drinking. Yeah, yeah I can't fault you there. We can about stay down the shed for an hour until this rain packs up. To be fair, I've worked uh, next to Trent Bridge Cricket Ground when uh, the World Cup was at the Cricket Ground and yeah, I think it was Pakistan versus India or something along them lines. Yeah. And um, the, the crowds were amazing. You know, they were proper up there teams. We had a, a, a bus, a, a double-decker bus, open top with the Pakistani fans on, going round, papping their hooters and everything. Fresh Nottingham water, bad play. Good evening, Tad. Have you recovered from Friday, Friday night? Mm -hmm. I recovered quite quickly, actually. I recovered quite quickly when I got, when I went sick. I know that. What was that then? Fell asleep in the garden. I play there. Oh, well, it's really coming down there. Good thing I put the dog inside. Poor bogger. In the US, Guinness. I, I was, I was following um, somebody on Instagram, um, a woman beer influencer. Hey, I thought that. <laughs> <coughs> I was following a woman beer influencer on, on in the US and she was she was drinking some a Guinness Imperial a ginger imperial stout and it was like wow get that over the UK I think it was Guinness a ginger ginger I think it was ginger was it not scotch it was one of the two it was a box ticking beer for me you know, something daft like thirteen percent and it's like fucking hell why, why don't we get this in the UK? Guinness Imp is in the UK. Budweiser. I remember going to Walmart back in 2013, eight years ago. And uh, I walked down one aisle in Walmart and it was all Budweiser. Budweiser this, Budweiser that. It's like, Jesus Christ. Yes, I have. Yeah, the Innocent Gun Caribbean. Yeah, 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 at some stage. Yeah. Oh. Well. Paul, as usual. Bedfordshire. Bedfordshire's not far away from um, that's shitty, isn't it? Stopping the craft beers in the, in the stores. And yet, they're only shooting themselves in the foot because craft beers will bring craft drinkers into them and they may pick up a bud as well. So they are shooting themselves in the foot. Variation is the key. Yeah. I do wish that um, some of the supermarkets in the UK would grow up and um, look after their local beer makers and, um, you know, stock a lot of local beers um, in supermarkets. You know, I suppose, you know, they're... They're going to make a, their, their money on top. They're going to force the price of the beer down slightly. That's dirty, isn't it? Very naughty. Ooh, pineapple IPA. Bless you. It 
it's nice to be back on the beer. It doesn't taste like it used normally tastes, but uh, it tastes better than bloody coffee and tea and pop. A watermelon double IPA. That sounds nice. That does sound nice. What's your favourite brew then, Mr. Shark? Uh, have everything you brewed or, or your box ticking brew that you want to, you've either done or you want to do. Just out of curiosity, you know, from one own brewer to another. It's always interesting to see what people's, uh, even if they haven't done it yet, what, what they want to do at some stage. And I suppose if you do a lot of home brewing, especially grain brewing, it's, you've probably already done, you've probably already done everything you want to do. But like most people who brew, especially grain brewing, you're going to, um, you just got your English shirt off the line before it got soaked, fair play. Are you going to iron it? I don't have any English shirts these days, to be fair. I had about three at one stage. But we have had a lean period. And uh, paying 40 quid for a shirt just pisses me off. Yeah, it is quite funny with the colours, isn't it? England and Denmark. Yeah. I wonder if anybody on the TV's um, done that. Noticed that with the colours. Someone somewhere will have noticed it. You know, the, those on the TV aren't too daft. Seventy quid for a New England T-shirt. Yep. Stuff that. I'd rather get one of them ten pound jobbies or five pound jobbies, you know, knock off ones like this, like the, you know, just a normal t shirt. I mean, I got this from the pound from Poundland, Pound World or whatever you call it these days. Pep and Co. Three quid. Three quid for a t shirt. You can't fault it. And if you can do a, a t shirt, they can do an England clone t shirt for three quid. I'm sure they can. Or a t shirt with an England flag on. I mean, going forward, I'd love, especially after last week, going to a proper brewery and brewing a beer, um, I'd love to buy the, all the equipment and do a proper grain brew at some stage and learn how to change, you know, the malts and the hops. Um, but that's where you need people. You need to be in some sort of community. And uh, if you can go to somebody and borrow a bit of malt off them, so you're not paying out shitloads for malt that you're never going to use. Um, unless it's cheap and cheerful, you know. I see a lot of these clone clone recipes out there. And I like the idea of a plum, pl plum porter clone. Yeah, I've got, I got a few just recently. Free, only for three quid. Three quid's decent for a t-shirt. I can wear it for work. And I can walk around work in a beer t-shirt and it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do as well. Now, I did ask them on the day I was down there. I said to them, are you going to bottle this beer? And he did mention something. Now, the thing is, if the recipe does well, hopefully it's brewed. For starters, hopefully it's okay and nothing's got into it. I've not heard anything yet. Um, I would have thought it'd be fermented and, and be in the conditioning tank there. Um, they're going to get in contact with me at some stage in, that, in this next few days. Hopefully they're not watching me on doing videos and thinking, God, that guy's ill. Right here, yeah. so you don't need to spend too much then. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, but this local brewery, they're on about buying their own bottling plant, doing their own bottling. And I think, especially for seasonal brews, that would be amazing. It would be amazing.
I mean, I, I'd like two cases of that beer for myself. Never mind anybody else. Good evening, Thomas. Good to see you, Slurpee. See you soon. And uh, enjoy the match. Or maybe not, depending on which side of the fence you're on. And depending on where you are, obviously, you know. Um, being an Englishman in the Scottish pub would be an interesting affair, yes. I've not ch I've not spoke to Steve for a while to be fair. I've not really spoke to anybody for a while. How many liters did we brew? Um, two thousand three hundred liters, <laughs> which is crazy, isn't it? It's a lot of fucking liters. That is. I'm sure it was two thousand three hundred liters. Yeah, the amount of grain, and uh, you know, there's so much to take in that you just you just don't take it all in, you know. They had torrified wheat. Good evening, Mr. Jive. How are you? How's the wine? Um, there was like 225 gram, um, kilograms? Was it pounds? I got a fucking clue. There was a lot of bags of one particular wheat or barley or whatever it was. Then, was, then there was torrified wheat and, um, yeah, there was... The kilograms, yeah, there was quite a few bags. And then there was different, like half a bag of this, half a bag of that. And they use, they use a programme that's basically a home brewer's programme that they've modified for commercial use, which makes it easy for them. And, um, you, you know, you can't fault them, really. We can all, all learn five kilograms, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And it was in this big, bloody hopper, we'll call it, uh, on the second floor mezzanine level, level. We chucked everything in, gave it a good stir. It will all come out on the internet at some stage. Um, then it went into the uh, mash tun thing below. What's the programme called? Just out of curiosity. See if it rings a bell. Yeah, it probably was closer to that, to be fair. Yeah. So I think it was 225 kilos of one particular uh, malt or whatever it was. And uh, I really wish, wish that I'd have done beer smith. That does sound familiar, you know. I do apologise, I've got the itches from hell. Um, it's, it's a part of having hay fever. I get prickly heat and I haven't took an hay fever tablet today because I've been taking paracetamols instead because it's bloody cold. Um, Bearsmith does sound interesting. Does sound similar. Brewfather. Brewfather. That may be it, you know. Because I know they use what is basically like a home brewer's tool. Yeah. Like a home brewer's tool. And then it also, with the hops. Right. Yeah, it may be that, you know. I mean, I'd, I'd take 24, I'd take a couple of cases on my own straight away. And I'm hoping, when I go down to taste the beer, and I, one, I'm hoping it's good, and uh, nothing's gone wrong in the brewing process. Um, and, um, oh God. Then we added three different hops in, one at the start of the boil. Good evening, Lee. It's all down to, it'll all come in time, with water capacities and all that. It's all down to learning, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that Lincoln Green, good evening. Lincoln Green actually come out with some sort of, um, actually go for their bottling plant. 
But I'm also hoping this Raggy's Golden Ale turns out really popular. Uh, <clears throat> Nottingham Beer Reviewer, you know, it's all about Nottingham, isn't it? So, you know, I suppose we'll see. 3.8%, you're appealing to the beer, the bitter drinking character, um, and those who like low a lower ABVs. No, no, I'd love to go on loads of tours, you know. This is something that I've got planned as soon as I can. Good evening. Do you know, at the right time, at the right place, every beer, every beer hits the spot, doesn't it? You know, getting ready for a football match, something on cask that's going down nice. You can't fault it. You really can't. Abbott's Reserve, fair play. I'm on the um, West Indies Porter. Well, 2,300 litres. I don't know how, how, how many casks that makes. You know, I'm, I'm, um, and I'm hoping to get some bottles. I'm hoping for some freebies, to be fair. Um, it'd be nice to have some freebies. It's chucking it down. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to give me, they're going to give me um, a proper bar, the beer thing, the beer, what do you call it? I've got a fucking name of it there. What they put on the, on the taps? Um, uh, oh dear. Clip. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Tap handle. Yeah, something like that. They're going to give me a, the proper official one. Pump clip. That's the job. And, um, yeah, they're going to give me a proper job here of that. And I'm supposed to be meeting him as soon as it's ready for, for um, yeah, as soon as it's ready for tasting. We're, I'm going to meet him in the pub in Arnold. God, let's hope I'm well by them. Um, this is day five now, so fucking hell, he needs to do one. Day four? Yeah, four. Day four if you're in shit. So... Hopefully, a couple of days' time, back to the normal self and uh, get back on to doing proper beer reviews again. I think I will. Yeah, down, down at the pub. Yeah, trying to sneak in a bit out of the way and uh, do a live on my beer channel with the good fella in the background. Prune juice. Yeah. And hey, my shit's all good, to be fair. As the toilet at Kellum experienced this morning, yes, yes. So, only just over an hour away. And uh, the anticipation for some people must be immense, you know, sitting in that crowd waiting. You know, I mean, there's some people who are much more hardcore fans. And for me, I feel that shit that I've got no anticipation at the moment. But for those that are anticipating this match, it's obviously it's the biggest in the generation, isn't it? No, not yet. No, still not getting fed. Today she offered me sandwiches and it's like, I'd like some belly pork or a nice steak. Am I getting butterflies? No, not really. I feel too, I feel too crap to be butterflies or anything. Yeah. I can't even get excited by it at the moment because I just feel so absolutely crap. Good evening. Yeah, magpie. I tell you what, magpie brewery and their beers amazing you know go to the brewery i'm hoping to do some beer reviews from 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 oh the boss man's bar my boss yeah it'd be nice to do a beer review from the bar one day yeah i'll have to try and arrange it with him get him to pour me a beer out freebie and uh, do a review from Cockcliffe or a review from Kellum. That'd be summer. Be good advertising for the chan for his for his hotel as well. Yes, I might have to do that. The Guinness is lovely. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the fact that my sensors are nowhere near normal. Six percent. I can't feel the ABV. To be fair. 
And last night was the first night in three days I had any sleep. Uh, not a full night's sleep, I had about four hours. But four hours of sleep over one or two hours for two other nights was crap. Ah, confirmed as their new brewer. Lovely. Yeah, I tell you what, Magpie Brewery, and uh, that's great to hear you from there. You, you know that the, the tap room brewery shop, the beer was, when it was going into the bottles, the process of put, cleaning out the bottles, putting the beer in, whether they squirt a bit of CO2 in, I'm not sure. But it came out as fresh as a daisy. You know, in these, um, I'll show you. So in these pump, in these tops, this is a magpie bottle, which you, um, it's the Imperial Tidings, the Imper Imperial Stout from Christmas. And um, yeah, so when it came out of here, the beer was as fresh, fresh as they come. It's got a month's date on it. And that's a beer poured from, the, from a brewery. So poured into a bottle of your choice that they sterilise and it, it lasts for a month. That's brilliant because I've still got two couple of bottles in there left. So, but yeah, oh, great to hear that as well. Yeah, Magpie Brewery. And, uh, you know, proud of my Nottinghamshire breweries. Um, it's good to see Castle Rock Brewery doing a bit more craft beer these days. I do think there's a there's a balance between traditional and craft and bringing both in, doing a bit of canning, doing a bit of bottling, chucking out Imperials, pushing those boundaries a little bit while still keeping your core uh, base, as it were. Right, let me get back to the chat. Two litres aside, woman we're raising, not getting touched till Christmas. <sighs> This is this is room temperature. The the stuff I've got from Magpie Brewery actually chilled. To be fair, hey, oh, I've got an hour. There we go. Right, that's done. Right. Oh, I'll drink this and uh, hopefully we'll win. Sunshine at Wembley. That's just as a nothing again. Fucking rain then. Yeah. The Castle Rock pub, there was a good eight or nine pint, eight or nine different beers in there. Not just Castle Rock. Um, I can't remember what now because I was, I was half tanked at the time. But um, yeah, some good beers. I did four, four while I was in there, four halves. One outside the pub and three inside. Yeah, it's, it's not easy doing beer reviews in the pub when people are watching you. Although when you've had a drink, you don't really give a shit. And I didn't, to be fair. And uh, I'm looking to do more and more local tap rooms slash micro pubs in the future. In the future. But it's always nice if you can get somewhere to go and do a two or three minute review. Where you can go through as much as you can in that two or three minute. So... Here's to an England win. You've got to wonder, good evening, who can get the players um, psyched up enough? If you look at the players on both sides, England have got the better players. But Denmark are doing it for their fallen comrade. And that's, uh, that's something. It really is something. <laughs> You're always going to go that bit further when it's when it's a mate. You know, when, when one of your mates nearly dies, it's like, I'm doing it for him. Yeah, we, we need to do it. We need to show him who's, who's the kings. Yeah, football does need to come home, though. I mean, we invented the bloody game. It's about time we won some of it. And we've never won the Euro, so we do. No, I didn't watch the Spain game. I did hear... That Spain were the better team. But as always, penalties sorts things out. But they play possession football. And uh, now and again, they need to have somebody up front. Was it a cracking game? 
I didn't watch any of it. I was watching the um, um, Justice League, the Zack Snyder edition. Jesus Christ, four hours. I had, a, I had a real struggle not to fall asleep. In fact, I, I did nod a couple of times. Got my son jabbing me. Dad, wake up. Dad, wake up. I and mean, at the end, it was an amazing. It was much better than the original Justice League. Albeit, four hours was a killer. I was knackered at the end of it. Then I went upstairs and went to bed. Fell asleep. And uh, woke up at three o'clock in the morning. Coughing my fucking head off. As you do. And... Uh, Swallowed half a bottle of Benilin. 20 minutes later, went back to sleep and uh, was on and off for about two and a half hours until I woke up for work. As you do. We need, we need, you know, these lads who are playing for England, they've reached the semi finals. You know, they've got the talent. We need them to step out and show the world their talent. Kane is one of the best strikers in the world when he wants to. Rise of the Sky Skywalker. I thought that was a good film. It's very different to the original Star Wars, but there was, a, there was a chemistry in the original Star Wars that you'll never replicate. Um, even with the original cast. You know, it's very hard to replicate something that was raw and a bolt of lightning. It's like the Harry Potter films. Uh, it's like the, the Harry Potter films. The first couple of Harry Potter films were just amazing. The, the, it opened a world that you'd never seen before. Like Lord of the Rings, the, the, the first trilogy. They opened a world to us that we'd never seen before. And it's very difficult to replicate any of that. Although the MCU, Marvel, are doing a fab job with some of the stuff they're bringing out. And let's hope Black Widow's decent next week. So, uh, tonight, I'm hoping for a 2-1 England win myself. Um, I really don't want penalties. Venom 2. Yeah, I've never even watched Venom 1, to be honest. Yeah. Not really, uh, yeah, I don't like the gruesome stuff these days. I try and keep away from anything that's gruesome. Um, <clears throat> or anywhere, anything where kids are getting hurt. Yeah, I don't, I, you know. I mean, if it's aliens getting killed, that's all fair play, isn't it? You know, yeah. But um, yeah, I try and keep away from a lot of that. Right. It was great to talk to everyone tonight. Yeah, 2-1 would be good for us. Let's hope we can do it. And uh, sadly, I'm not coming back online tonight for a, a live off time or a live at the end. I think Craig, Kent Beer Reviews, is on about doing a live at the end. And uh, unless, unless we win and, um, you know, unless at half nine, quarter to ten, you know, we win. We win convincingly and we're through. And then a 10, 15 minute chat proceeds, then fair play. We don't want bloody penalties. No, not at all. Could you imagine if we thump them? Wow. No, that'd be summer. That would. What we need is another match like the other night against Ukraine, where we just never looked like losing in any way, shape or form. It was just too damn easy. I don't think it'll be that easy to know it. But you never know. Right. Got to run. Thank you everyone for dropping in and uh, participating. Didn't really review anything. It was more about the drink. Denmark are very good. And they've got that reason to be good as well. You know. One of your mates is dying. And uh, as, as a team of mates around him. You would you would play out your skin. That is something to be. Uh, something to watch. Be interesting. Uh, let's hope the skill of England can win through. And a bit of luck. Cheers, everyone. And uh, we might, might see you later. You never know. Cheers.